Hi, I'm Wade Harvey, and this is uh, SQL Server Express uh, tutorial installing it. Okay, to find where to download uh, SQL Server 2000 Express, I like to use Google because, in case if the page has changed where MSDN keeps a uh, SQL Server download page. So I type in download SQL Server 2005 Express and click on the search. And I look for a link that says just download. Any of these links will take you there eventually, but for the uh, video purposes, I'm going to go directly to the one I want, which is this one that says download. And this says uh, three things you need to do is download the Microsoft Net Framework 2.0 if you don't already have it. And if you've been working with Visual Basic or whatever, then uh, you probably already have the uh, framework uh, 2.0 or later uninstall beta versions and then download and install and then it has this nice link here for product comparison which uh, I would need to go over uh, because there's three different thing, uh, three or four different things you could do at this point but uh, I'm going to take the smallest uh, okay if you do the express it's, SQL Server 2005 Express Edition, you just get the database engine that allows you to execute SQL commands in the client components. Uh, but if you get the advanced version, uh, with advanced services, you get the database engine, client components, full text search, reporting services, and the Management Studio Express. Management Studio Express is very important. It allows you to uh, uh, create and uh, delete tables and administer your database so you want that uh, and then the SQL Server uh, toolkit does not include the database engine it does include client components does not include the reporting services it does include the management studio and it does include business intelligence developer studio we're going to do we're going to do SQL Server Express Edition, and then we're going to uh, download the Management Studio Express uh, separately. So, okay. this consists of two lines. Uh, the reason we're doing this, the advanced services uh, takes is a 234 megabyte download, which is fine. I just don't feel like waiting that long. And the uh, toolkit is another 200. 23, but the, if you just uh, get the Express Edition, that's only 36 meg, and the uh, Management Studio, which we also need, is 43 meg. Now, if you're using uh, any of the Visual Basic uh, .NET languages, you've already got uh, the database engine installed uh, on your computer. So I'm going to click on Download the, and I'll save the file. I'll do this also with uh, the management uh, server, uh, manage, uh, management studio express. Go on download and save the file. And when those are complete, I'll come back. Okay, the downloads have completed now, and the this one with the exe is the uh, uh, the database engine, and this one with the msi is the uh, management studio. So I'm going to start by open, uh, running the uh, database engine part with the client components and it's extracting these files. I'll be pausing the recording uh, quite a bit so you don't have to wait a lot of these things. But it doesn't take that long to install everything. Okay, it extracted everything and then you accept the terms. Click next. And then it's uh, it installs uh, so software components prior to installing SQL Server. So it's seeing if it has to do anything previously, but it, it won't install uh, Net Framework 2.0. Okay, so, but there were some support files that were needed on my computer that it installed. Then it scans your computer for your configuration. And you get the Microsoft SQL Server installation wizard. You click next. 
and this it shows you the results of the system configuration check everything was successful click next and then it starts uh, extracting installing or and it asks you for your name and your company so I'll enter that pause it while I do okay I entered my name and my company click next and then it, uh, it shows what it's going to install. This is just the database engine. Here's some client components and other stuff. I want to install everything. So I take this X off and turn it to will be installed on the local hard drive. Then I click next. Uh, one thing, uh, you can install any size uh, uh, software on your computer if you just let it run a bit o uh, overnight or whatever uh, so you can uh, you could do the one with advanced features Windows authentication mode I like to leave it with that otherwise you have to enter your SQL uh, uh, server password and so forth and uh, this is for the system administration password but it's not highlighted so we don't enter it okay. Enable uh, user instances is checked. And then you can automatically send an uh, email to Microsoft. I'm going to leave that unchecked. And then it says it's going to install the database services and the client components. Exactly what we wanted. And the install starts. And I'll pause again. Here are the components that it's installing. Uh, this top one looks like XML support. The, the one that's currently going on looks like it's just some support files. And then you have a client, a writer, services, and components, books online and such. So that's what all is being installed. Okay, that all finished after about five minutes. I click next. And it gives you the summary log of uh, what happened. You can review that. Click finish. And then we start the uh, Management Studio Express and open up that one. That's the one with the M MSI extension. And then it'll extract everything. I'll pause it. Okay, and then you get to, uh, this install screen. You click next. Accept the terms. Click next. You enter your name and the company. I'll pause. Okay. Enter those. Click next. And then there's just one item. You don't have to tell it to do it. It's going to do everything. Click next. It's going to install it in program files. Click install and it takes off and I'll pause it while it does it. Thing. Okay, that completed successfully after about five minutes. And so then you click finish. Then to uh, test that you're installed correctly, you click on start. Get all programs. And you go over to the last item, which is Microsoft SQL server and uh, you went the uh, management studio express this is where you can see your tables and then uh, the server name is the name of your computer plus SQL express you can click connect I already have some uh, files from a previous install here and it'll show in the object to explore the tables that you have. And there are your databases.